Hey, Abletonians, YouTuberinos. Just a quick little video here. I have a new switcher, the ATEM Mini Pro, that I'm routing through right now. It's got a little bit of an issue that I identified and maybe have a solution to. So coming out of my cameras is a uh, micro HDMI connection. And I've been using these cables. It's a thin HDMI cable, which maybe should have been a first red flag, but it's a 25 foot long cable with regular, regular HDMI on one side and then the, the micro on the other. So I thought like, hey, this will be, God, that's a terrible camera angle. Okay, um, you know, micro on the other side. So I thought that's great. One cable that I need, 25 feet would be plenty of length. Um, but when I hook it up to the switcher, if it's not on channel one, then there's kind of an issue, like it'll drop out and stuff. And I'm gonna show you here, I'm gonna hook it up to the other camera and then show you. Okay, so right now I've switched it to camera two and you can see what it's doing. Like this, this camera isn't on a tripod or anything. So, ah, it looks like a, some kind of psychedelic music video and it isn't in focus or anything, but you see how it's glitching out like crazy? Um, I found that, let me switch back. I found that if I use this cable that I have, which is, you know, this is a thick boy compared to the other one. This cable works okay, but it's super, super chunky. So if I gotta run this thing 25 feet, um, it's pretty crazy because it gets real heavy. And in fact, this camera right here, I had a hard time getting it um, at the angle I wanted because I have a thick cable like this plugged into it. And even the thickness of the cable is just pushing on the camera because the cameras aren't very heavy. So I've been reading about these HDMI cables that have fiber optic inside and so I bought one off of Amazon. That's this guy right here. It's a hundred feet long. <laughs> Will this work? I have no idea. But the idea is with this that it translates the signal on the inside of the uh, connector. It translates the signal into a uh, fiber optic signal, you know, into light. And then, you know, supposedly from there you can just go as long as you, not as long as you want, but you know, essentially as long as you want. So I'm gonna unpackage this and uh, we'll see if this works. Okay, so one thing about these cables is they are directional. So there's a TV and a source side. So I'm gonna uh, pause this video. I'm going to hook this up and then we'll see what happens. One thing that's important to know is that you'll need an adapter. So I got an HDMI to HDMI mini adapter, and that's at the end of the cable. So here we go. All right, well, I won't keep you in suspense too long. It actually does work. I can see it on my screen here, which you guys can't see. In fact, let me turn this around here. See on my screen there, the camera too, it looks like it's working. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch that source to, yeah, I see the camera's moving a little bit. It's because that cable, that's plugged in is so thick and heavy that it's actually pushing the camera on the little tripod that it's on on the desk. Uh, so there's a hundred feet of cable. If I hit button number two on my A10 mini. Hey, there I am right there. And I don't see any glitches, anything like that. Uh, I think this looks pretty rock solid if I say so myself. So uh, switch back to camera one camera two. All right. So this came up with, uh, having an issue with not input number one on the A10 mini pro, but numbers two, three, and four. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cycle through, uh, two, three, and four on this with the same cable and see if that makes any difference. All right. Now it's hooked up to camera three. Okay, camera three seems to work okay. Hi, how you doing? Camera, let's try camera four now. All right, there's camera four. So uh, a hundred foot long HDMI cable using the magic of fiber optics uh, seems to work pretty rock solid.
pretty rock solid. I have not seen this thing. <laughs> I actually just dropped it out because I was trying to switch cameras. But I have not seen this thing drop out yet. So uh, that is a good deal. I think what I would say with this is that everything worked 100%. So I'm going to put a link to it in the description. I don't get paid for this or anything. So, um, you know, have fun with that. See you later.